this week on an all-new episode of Crazy Train of Thought, brought to you by the Idiot Savants. Join host Ryan Wolf, Madeline, and Colin freaking Giffy for rants such as... Oh, oh the board. On the board, the choo-choo train. Check a look. Welcome, everybody, to Crazy Train of Thought, brought to you by the Idiot Savants. Thank you so much for joining us today. I am your host, Ryan Wolf. We are live from Savant Studios. Joining me today, I have... Madeline. Madeline is here. Welcome. Welcome back. Thank you. We've got our official Marvel correspondent, Madeline, joining us today. Um, we'll, be, we'll be bringing you some WandaVision shit but next, freaking Colin Giffy. Colin freaking Giffy. Back on the pod. Back on the pod. Again. Glad you're here, Once buddy. Again. I'm glad I'm here, too. Uh, we had a bunch of other people scheduled. Uh, Oscar, former podcast contributor. Oscar was supposed to join us. but uh, a year and a half. Yeah, it's been too long since we've seen Oscar. And unfortunately, he couldn't make it today. So it's just going to be a trio. The three of us are going to be... Holding it down here no Troy for today. you today. Yeah, no Troy. He's got a not a, not a COVID related thing, but he's just not feeling well. So could get, get he, better, could be Troy. Related, who knows? <laughs> no, he's got the he's got the vaccine, right? He's totally good. I think he's oh, got the vaccine. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't um, remember him saying anything about it. But. Did you get your vaccine yet? No, no, I didn't either. No, no. Um, Still, still don't know, man. You yeah, know? I'm kind of up in the like air about I, it as like well. I, I'm not knocking for people who do or people who don't. Like I, I get it either way. Um, I, I kind of want to wait it out just a little longer. Um, I want to see if it fucks anybody up. Yeah, like I do too. I'm getting like, superpowers. Is this, exactly. yeah, is this a super Thank soldier yes. serum? Absolutely. Yeah, that was like my first thought. Was like, I mean, obviously Malcolm's kid is gonna have superpowers. Because Mindy had it <laughs> when she was pregnant. Oh, man. So, like, w what is this vaccine going to do? My buddy was telling me that, like, some of it's a DNA-based vaccine, and I don't know that I really want that fucking up. Like, I don't, I don't Dude, know. Dude, you'd be surprised in the I things that change your that. DNA. Um, yeah. One of them is, like, I mean, viruses certain, do straight certain up, processed but. meats do. That you eat, yeah, like that's a known thing. Uncooked thing, like I think a lot of it's like, um, <sighs> like know. just processed meats that you get from the store, like lunch meat. I'm I'm ninety percent sure that like has something like there's research that has shown that it actually there's that chip that Bill somehow Gates affects. Wants to yeah, there's also the chip. Your DNA. Yeah. Good luck, uh, Bill Gates. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't I don't know if there's. <laughs> I love my grandpa to death. But the last time I was at his house, we had a conversation about how Bill Gates wanted to chip people. And like, does it matter? With my family, one, there's always someone that wants to chip. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> doesn't matter who. Not necessarily Bill Gates, no. but just the government already tracks me. I have my phone on me probably twenty four seven. It's yeah, always in the same room as me. Right, I'm near unless right. I'm leaving the bedroom and go across the house. Yeah, if they want to know anything it's, about you, it's there. They yeah, it's there. Sure. They already know. I got all, all, all your life. Yeah. My bank account information, <laughs> like everything. You want it, Bill Gates? You already have it. <laughs> my, my grandpa also said, and I don't know if this is true or not, probably just as true as the chip thing, uh, that they are going to be switching to a digital birth certificate thing, like birth certificate slash social security ooh, ooh. card digitally and and like... He he made it seem like they're gonna somehow in, like encode it into you. I don't know if it's via the chip or like. You do, have you guys seen Dark Angel? Have you seen In Time? Like fucking. I saw In Time. Uh, with the God, what's his name? Justin Timberlake. Justin Timberlake. That's and actually a good and movie. Siegfried. Good. Uh, good. Um, it, it's okay. I liked it. It's been a while since I've seen it, but I liked it when I watched it. Yeah. Good concept. Cool. Yeah, concept. it's a cool concept. Using using your life. As right. your currency. Yeah. Uh, it's interesting. Yeah. 
It is a cool idea for sure. Yeah, it's what debt does to you. I don't know when that came out, but I have no idea what like you're talking 2000. about. I think it was like 2010, I want to say. Or, 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 I think even before that. Maybe. Yeah, um, maybe 08. Yeah. Yeah, no. Over the head. <laughs> you, you didn't see that one? Come on, Madeline. You were six. Exactly. I was six. <laughs> uh, I was zero when Star Wars came out, but you know. <laughs> well, Kyle, you guys, actually, you guys are probably the same age. Yeah, roughly. <gasps> he saw it. What are you doing? <laughs> I watched a lot of movies I probably shouldn't as if a kid. It came out in 2008. I was busy watching Iron Man. All right. I was busy watching over Tur- and over. I was busy yeah. watching Terminator over and over. Terminator 2. Oh, that's a good. I mean, that's yeah. you should just have that yeah. on all the time. Yeah, really. I don't just Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, I cried. Terminator 2. I mean, At the yeah. end? oh no, for sure. Dude. I'm saying she should have seen it more times. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was probably one of the saddest movies. When he I've does seen. the thumbs up. Yeah, I didn't cry during Marley and Me. But I cried during that. You're during Terminator Two. <laughs> if I watched Marley and Me now, I'd probably bawl my eyes out. <laughs> if I watched Terminator Two now, probably wouldn't cry that much. Marley I think I had a more love for Arnold as a child than I do now. I mean, I still I love him, but yeah, like, as a kid, I like really like was like <laughs> Arnold guy. Yeah. Like, like it, did he do Kindergarten? Kindergarten Cop. Oh, yes, so good. Such a good movie. Junior. Him and Danny DeVito. <laughs> yes. My mom brought twins. that movie up. Was Junior? Junior is the one where. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Danny DeVito, where he no. is implanted with a baby. Arnold, yeah, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Danny gives DeVito birth. isn't in there though. What? Is it not Danny DeVito? <laughs> Danny, De- Danny DeVito is in Twins. Is it twins. Okay. Yeah, and they're doing triplets with Eddie Murphy supposedly, but that still hasn't happened. Yeah. So in in Junior, somebody else yeah. plays a scientist, yep. and Arnold Schwarzenegger gets implanted with a embryo. Yeah, and he, as a man, births the baby. Yep. Uh, very odd premise for a movie. Very odd premise. Um, and pretty Arnold, funny though. It, it was great. I loved. I loved that movie. It was weird watching it. Is he a comedy person? Arnold. Uh, he, he became. W- yeah. It is Danny DeVito, motherfucker. I'm not wrong. 1994. Danny, Danny DeVito, DeVito, Arnold Schwarzenegger, as part of a fertility research project, a male scientist agrees to carry a pregnancy in his own body. So what? I was right. Danny DeVito plays one of the like a doctor or scientist or whatever. Really? Yeah. So they did a couple movies together. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we were we were here to talk about WandaVision though. So let's go ahead and uh, if you're ready, Colin, you ready to move on? Yeah, I'm ready to move from on from Arnold Schwarzenegger mm-hmm. movies. Yep. Uh, I think the only thing that would have made WandaVision better is if Arnold Schwarzenegger had made yeah. you know some Ended sort of cameo. Come on, Wanda, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yes. You need to go back to Sokovia. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, got, got family waiting for you there. Could have been the big bad. Yeah, Mephisto oh God, yeah. showing up for real. I'm Mephisto. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Old yeah. but not obsolete. So we're gonna talk about some of our our favorite things from the show. Some things we like, didn't like, that kind of thing. Uh, who wants to kick us off here? Uh, I, I can start if you guys would. I got I got one that's from the very beginning. Be the goddamn guess. episodes are too fucking short. Yeah, it's like eighteen Agree. minutes of show mm-hmm. and another fifteen minutes of fucking credits. And like, oh my god, what yeah. in the absolute fuck is credits this bullshit? St- stupid. Like no cutscenes in the beginning. I was right. waiting. I watched that whole thing, and I was like, "This isn't Marvel. Where's the cut scene?" You mean the after after, after post the credit scene. the post credits? They did yeah. at the okay, end. Okay. They did at the last episode. It's the they, last three have post credits. Oh, the last three. Yeah. That's when it started happening oh, in like okay. actual movies because they were like sticking to when the times were like in the sixties and fifties. They didn't have post credits. Oh, uh, okay. So that's why I got they didn't you. Do it. That makes sense. Which I Does hate. it? But did they ha- did they have opening? They had opening. Did they? They should have done opening credits if right. they did it like they did back right. then. They didn't have after. Yeah, credits. they had opening credits. Yeah. Uh, I mean, often movies, especially at that time, had very lengthy opening. Oh yeah, they did. Like the like very scenery. Monty Python like, and the Holy Grail has like fifteen scenery. minutes of opening credits, uh, and and it's really like it's done for fun. Yeah, like there are funny mm-hmm. parts to that, uh, making fun of the opening credits of movies, but yeah. So yeah, the episodes were too short, like, and I don't think, I don't think enough happens in them. So at least for the first four or five episodes when Rachel and I were watching, like, I, we got done with the episode and she was like, that's it. Mm -hmm. Like, that's, that's what we got that, like, it it maybe, 
maybe develops a little bit too slow. There's not really enough story in those first few episodes. And and I get it. Like they want to keep you yeah. in the dark as the as you know, you're and like, what the fuck like is the this? first what episode you notice on? a few weird things. Yeah. Like there's nothing too crazy. Like first episode, yeah, it's just sort of like a regular sitcom. Like maybe a couple things were off. Did but you, then as uh, things choke, go, but the choking scene. Yeah. When they have Stop yeah. it. First Stop of all, weird. <laughs> as soon as I saw that actress, I don't know her name, but she plays Kitty in that second yeah. show. That's I was all like, all Kitty, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's, That's all now. I know her from too. Yeah. yeah, I couldn't call her by whatever her name is. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of how everybody is. Name. I was like, yeah, it's Kitty from that 70s show. Did you, did either of you get the, the reference to it being Dick Van Dyke? Like the first episode um, is modeled yeah. after Dick Van Dyke? I didn't necessarily pick up on that. I didn't watch a lot of Dick Van Dyke. I, I knew like that that's what they were going for. Like that, that time period of stuff. Right. And they, like they did copy a lot of things like as the, as the, See, like things went on, you could definitely tell they're copying, like yeah. especially like Modern Family. Yeah, like when they started doing that, like that's yeah, totally Modern I, Family. I wasn't 100%. sure if it was Modern Family or um, Arrested Development. It was probably I, both. I, you know, like, I <laughs> thought that maybe it was a little bit in tone, like mm -hmm. closer to Arrested Development. But uh, yeah, um, the first episode when it's Dick Van Dyke, like I watched a shit ton of Dick Van Dyke. It was one of my that is still one of my mm -hmm. favorite shows. It's so funny. Uh, Dick Van Dyke is a, is a great actor and he's so good at like physical comedy, which is not something that like people really do anymore. It's mostly like verbal comedy. Mm -hmm. uh, I think probably Jim Carrey is maybe one of the few remaining actors who's like physical comedy is his thing. Um, but, but the Dick Van Dyke show is fantastic. And when the, when that first episode starts of WandaVision, like, you see them in their living room, and that is the set of Dick Van Dyke. Mm. And then the camera, um, you know, goes to the kitchen. That's the kitchen from Dick Van Dyke. Yeah. Like the separation of the, like mm -hmm. the, um, I guess the living really room, blinds, dining but room. yeah, the separation yeah. of the living room and dining room with the little vented things or whatever the slats, like that is straight up. All of that is the oh, is yeah. the fucking set from Dick Van Dyke, and. That was really cool to see characters that aren't Dick Van Dyke and Mary Tyler Moore mm -hmm. be on that set and the like have the illusions. I think yeah. even when you they, go to their bedroom, they're in separate beds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like straight up. Yeah. Yep. That's from that show. Like they in the 60s when oh, I may have even been the 50s when the Dick Van Dyke show was on, they couldn't show even a married couple be in the same bed yeah. on TV. I thought that was just a thing, like not even a TV I, thing. I but think, like, like I think I remember reading, like they couldn't show that, and that's why they were in yeah. separate beds. It's like what kings and queens do; they don't sleep in the same bed. I did not know that. Yep, they sleep in separate, separate quarters, separate living quarters. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Thank you for that little tidbit. It's usually, because the kings sleep around, but we're not going to talk about that. Or the queen. Or the queen. queen could be. Sw I was gonna say because usually queen? they're cousins and they get tired of seeing family. Or <laughs> Only if they're Targaryen. <laughs> <laughs> they're related in some way, most of the time. I didn't really get all of the references to the old shows. Like I'm pretty sure the one is supposed to be Bewitched, but I didn't watch enough Bewitched to say one way or the other. Um. Or maybe I Dream a Genie, possibly. Uh, but the Malcolm in the Middle one, mm -hmm. I thought that yeah. was great. That's when I For started sure. getting the reference. Right, Because right. I didn't watch, like, the Dick Van Dyke yeah. show because yeah. I was a toddler and not existent yet. Oh, so. yeah, yeah. None of us existed. <laughs> I've watched Little House in the Prairie and the Andy Griffith show. Those are probably the two oldest shows that I've watched. Little House on the Prairie. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody knows Little House on the Prairie. Come I, on. I have seen it. I was a, a bigger fan of Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> um, Little House on the Prairie was a punishment for me as a child. Yeah, I don't it's so fucking boring. It. Oh my gosh, my great grandma yeah. loved it when I came over. She'd be like, "You want to watch? You want to Little House?" I'm like, "Hell yeah, grandma! Hell yeah!" Hell yeah I didn't dude. say hell yeah. What that fucking? She probably would have. She probably would have. You know, yelled at me, but <laughs> she probably would have yelled, spanked me. I don't know. Yeah, I want to watch her go to school, talk to her parents, and then go back home. And that's exactly what I want to watch. Uh, did you guys think the episodes were too short? What do you guys think? Absolutely. Yeah. At for, there were some episodes that were longer, like the last couple episodes, I think, were a For little sure. Longer the than last normal. two actually yeah. are like, you know, the finale. Kind yeah. Of one so after kind of have to be longer. Um, um, they actually feel like complete stories to yeah. me. Whereas, you know, yeah, before it, that. Honestly, the first couple episodes of WandaVision are pretty forgettable. 
Okay. As you, like, as I saw the ending, I just kind of, like, forgot about all the shit I saw in episode one and two. It's like, like, everything starts to make sense, but as things start to make sense, you begin to just be like, oh, well, no, none of that really matters at this point. Um, well, yeah, so I guess, I guess you're right. A yeah. lot of it, the stuff with D the Dick Van Dyke show and stuff like that, like, it ends up, they don't really call back to that at all. Yeah. Uh, even the choking scene, which is pretty impactful in that first episode because of how fucking weird it is. That's like the only thing I remember from yeah. the first episode, though. Um, besides the theme song. Is the first episode, yeah, where they try and cook dinner, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Yeah, and, I and guess then that the choking comes with like a basket. Yeah, the, the lobster meal. flies in yeah. or whatever. Yeah. I think the first episode is just like the characters being introduced mainly. Like, obviously, like with Agatha coming in. And Mr. Hart, which yeah, which she is turned into really the note that Vision wrote, like to grow old in V. That's what the mm -hmm. heart on the calendar. The heart was. on the calendar. You're right. That note right. turned into the cal calendar, but then they're like, "Is it an anniversary? Is it a birthday?" And I guess it's like, "Oh, well, obviously it's something." So let's plan something, and then she rescues it at the yeah. end of the day too. Um. But she's sketchy the whole time when she does it. So. Yeah, I knew she was the villain the whole time. Did you? you knew it I all did. Along? I knew she all was along. Agatha you knew Harkness. It all along? Um, Agnes, Agatha so Harkness. So I don't know who the fuck Agatha Harkness. I did is. my. I did. So my I, I did I, zero I, research. I wanted to be surprised. Really? So I did not look it up at all. I, I thought they could have possibly like okay yeah we know that's Agatha Harkness but at the same time they could have potentially not made her a villain in the MCU or you could have had or her have a different name different name yeah like if you wanted to hide the fact yeah. that it was and Agatha I don't think they wanted Agatha, to hide it and they didn't have I, I really don't think they wanted to hide it um because like you knew something was up with her the whole time like Ooh, yeah this lady, she's, why does she keep showing up she's not like everybody else or doesn't really seem to be like everybody else. Mm. Well, that part when she messes with with Wanda too really gives it away. She's like, "You want me to? You want me to take that back again?" Yeah, yeah. You want me to take that again? <laughs> yeah, you yeah. want to take that again? Like, and then when the, uh, Wanda just keeps going, and Vision's like, "Wait a second! Did you not just see yeah, what right. happened?" That's in the Full House episode, right? Yes. Mm, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. The one that's supposed to be like Full House, anyways. The um, twins age up in that one for the first time. I yeah. Think. Yeah, I think so. that was weird. Yeah, because right? Agatha comes to see the baby, and she asks if she can hold them. And then, oh. like, Wanda's all like, no. No, like, Vision says, no, don't hold him. And then Wanda's like, why not? She, yeah. Oh, know. okay. Yeah. Vision's like sketched out by her. As yeah. He should be, okay. But, and then she goes and gets whiskey from the cabinet to shut him up. But then, they oh, up. right, right. <laughs> and they, yeah, the up. whole thing with the kids is like, I never really believed that she had kids. And even that birth scene with Monica Rambo, um, like, what did you guys think of, uh, of that and like the introduction of those kids? Because it never, I was never even sold on that being real. I guess because they're like, how much is it real? I don't know how much of any of this show was yeah. real. Um, and when when the kids level up, um, and you get the the Malcolm in the Middle episode. <laughs> I guess, like, I don't, what do you, they evolve into older kids. XP. <laughs> um, like, I don't, it's not that I didn't like the actors that played the kids. I thought they were both fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I was just never sold on it, I guess. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Those are, um, in the comics, Wanda actually does have those kids, but they are part of Mephisto's soul. Wiccan and Speed. Yep, Wiccan and Speed. I don't, they have superpowers. I don't know as who they do in the show. Mephisto is Mephisto is, is MCU's Satan. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Got gotcha. um, And he plays a. He's, he's, I thought he was going to play a huge part in this. I thought he was going to be the rabbit. Mister Scratch. Mister Scratch. Because that's, that's what that's nickname for the devil. For the devil. Oh. And yep. Agatha has a son called Nicholas Scratch. So. He's the devil's kid. That's that ties into Sabrina on Netflix, but that's a whole different thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say that sounded familiar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Sabrina's so good. I love that uh, show. <laughs> so dark. It's very uh, dark. Yeah. Um. So this show never really gets to that point. That the the fucked up shit that happens in Sabrina. Um, <laughs> but it is. Uh, certainly a different direction than we've seen the MCU go, and I think. 
like making it a TV show, obviously with the sitcom tie-ins and stuff works way better than it having been a movie. Like it wouldn't yeah. work as a movie. Uh, you, you wouldn't be able to do this, you know, this episodic changes in scenery if it were a movie, um, at least at the beginning. But I think like, especially nearer towards the end, you kind of get like, it, it, it kind of just becomes a Marvel movie in a lot of ways. Like it. I think they could have like switched it into the Marvel, like a movie, like cut out the last two or three episodes in the episode where Vision, like Wanda's like, all right, roll credits. Vision's catching on and then the credits start rolling and then they walk into the next room and the credits stop. That's when Pietro shows up, fake Pietro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, but I think they could have switched it into that there because then Wanda could have like had a breakdown and then it would have started collapsing and then Vision would have caught on and then it could have switched into Sword coming in. Sword. Right. I do not know why they casted Evan Peters. Dude, I still, real. I'm like so, I still I'm so fucking so mad about get that. that. Like it's such bullshit. Because yeah. I want the X Men and the MCU so bad, and I was like, "This is it. They're doing it. They yeah. broke the timeline. Yeah, period. yeah. They fucked it all up, and here's how they're gonna fix it." And I was so excited. And he turned into a boner joke. I'm up. Yeah, <laughs> it's <laughs> literally what happened. It's actually what happened. Well, she's technically she's Agatha's husband, or fake husband, Ralph. real husband. Yeah, fake, Ralph. Fake husband. Fake husband. I have a theory. Okay, hit he me. is the uh, missing person that Jimmy Woo was mm -hmm. looking for. Yep. like looking for because when Monica goes into the basement and he plays the dramatic guitar, I thought that was really funny. He's like, -na -na -na, when he, he figures it out, but he she picks up a file of him. Right, it says Ralph right. Boner. Why would he have a file of himself if he's not like? That's a good point. Why does he need a file of himself? He I didn't there, think he it knows. I didn't think it was a file. I thought it was like a, it was a like an actor folder. sheet. I think it was an actor sheet. Yeah, like him, like like a profile sheet of him mm. as an actor is what I thought it was. Yeah, I just want it to be Pietro. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I no, like <laughs> like what? Like I don't. I yeah. They like literally Quicksilver from X Men. Why did you choose Evan Peters? I don't understand it, it either. And like. I kind of was talking to Oscar about this, you know, off air, obviously, and that's kind of why I wanted him to be on here was like, they have done so many, like the, the multiverse thing that was not the real multiverse in uh, Far From Home mm -hmm. in Spider-Man. Uh, I thought maybe that's how they could bring the X-Men in. And then I thought, okay, when people come back from Thanos' snap, we actually talked about it on the pod. Maybe they'll come back with powers because they have been disappeared. Like, mm. maybe that's how we get the X-Men. And it's some type of mutant thing from having been yeah. snapped and, and snapped back. Um, and then the thing with Evan Peters comes in where we're like, okay, this is the time. Now's the time. We're going to get X-Men. Especially since they were like going through the decades and it was like the 80s-ish episode. I was right. like, right, right. This Hello. is perfect. It's perfect. He warps through the TV. She believes anything right now. So, like, it just make it X Men. And then to have them just totally fuck that up. And then it's not that they, like, I guess they didn't fuck it up. Like, they meant they had a story to tell mm -hmm. and they just went a different direction than obviously everybody else wanted them to. But I'm to the point now where, like, when we do finally get the X Men, however they reveal it, are we going to like, like, I, I think it's going to be less impactful for me as a fan of the Marvel stuff. Like, I don't know that it's going to hit as hard for me as it would if I was just seeing it out of left field. What do you guys think? Mm. I don't know. I think they should have just done it then because we know that it's leading into the multiverse of madness with Doctor Strange. Right. Yep. So he could have gotten Professor X's help. To yeah. fix it all and put them back where they need to go, but then now we have the X Men and the MCU, so now we can focus on them and with Doctor Strange and his Avengers that he's going to end up putting together. Well, it yeah. seems like we're going to get Fantastic we, Four before we, well, X Men. No, we know that the X Men are coming though. That's pretty been confirmed. Um, well, right. I thought yeah. Fantastic Four was going to come in with. Monica's Fantastic Four is going to be in like twenty twenty three. I think it's when Fantastic Four comes out. Right. Um. No, but obviously, yeah, they are coming at some point, and it makes me pissed that they, like, didn't 
seize the opportunity then and there and like why did they pick Evan Peters? Maybe it was a teaser to say, hey, this isn't him, but they're coming. You know, maybe this, I don't know. But uh, I know that in the comics, Wanda, during all this stuff going on, being controlled by Agatha Harkness, basically loses her mind and says no more mutants and tries to destroy all the mutants. Um, so yeah, I I'm thought like, the opposite could have potentially happened because of what happened to Monica Rambeau when she went into the force field. She, she came back powers. with powers. Right. So it makes me wonder, maybe all the people we saw in that town are going to have powers. I mean, that's a good point. Know. So, like, we know that now, based on Monica, mm -hmm. we know that, like, her ability, not Monica's ability, I'm sorry, Wanda's ability has the ability to create mutants. Yeah. Yep. Um, so... I guess they could still be planning on bringing it, like bringing the mutants in through her. It just didn't happen during WandaVision. Yeah, that makes me wonder how they're going to do that too. Like, like are these are these X Men going to be from another dimension where they're the characters that we know and love, like the ones that we not necessarily the ones that we saw and in, in Fox's portrayal of them, but like the Mark, like is Wolverine still going to be born in the 1860s or whatever 1880s? I see and then, you, you know, fight through all the wars and right, come back. Like, is cause, is Magneto still going to be a, uh, a Jew from the, that, suffered, that survived Auschwitz, you know, right. and all that? Like, who knows? Um, it, it makes me wonder what direction they're going to go with all these, all the X-Men and mutants and whatnot. Well, I, I showed Wanda, they showed Wanda's childhood, but in the comics, doesn't she believe that she's a child of Magneto? Like, Magneto's her dad. Magneto so, is her dad. I'm about halfway through that the mm -hmm. comic book that WandaVision is based off of, and she is the daughter of Magneto. Mm -hmm. Yep. In the comic. Yep. At least mm -hmm. the point where I'm at now, that's like... Uh, Wolverine in in the comic book. Wolverine knows that there that something's wrong with like the world, because uh, she's already altered what the world is. Um, because Magneto's like this like king of the world basically, and she lives with him in his in his castle. Yeah, and another answer that we never got too is Agatha even questions that to Wanda. Where did you get your powers from? You stopped that bomb from blowing up. So where, how, how did you get that? She literally says that. Where did you right. get your powers from? You didn't get it from the Infinity Stone. You had powers as a little girl. Where did that come from? And that never got answered. That's true. So it makes me wonder if maybe they are bringing in Magneto. And, and maybe he is. But, like, where has he been this whole time? Right. Like, that, that's that's another thing. Like, if Magneto think, is a super powerful person, is he have all the X-Men just been on the down low this whole time? Or fighting in another country? or So... You bring it up like the point of Wolverine being born in the 1800s, mm -hmm. having fought in the Civil War and stuff like that. Like, that's part of that character. So I don't see any way to, like, not portray that as the way that mm -hmm. Wolverine's character is. Um, but at the same time, how do you retcon what you have established already with, you know, and the Multiverse of Madness, maybe that's how they introduce it. Maybe Doctor Strange... Uh, when I was talking to Kennedy, Kennedy thinks that she, that, uh, Wanda is going to be a huge part of Dr. Strange and mm -hmm. she might oh, be yeah. the yeah, villain. Yeah. I agree. I don't know. I think she's going to start out like being the villain, but also from the, the first Dr. Strange, we have Mordo who wants to take people's powers because he thinks that they don't deserve them. And also Agatha thinks that people don't deserve powers and wants to take them. So I think right. they're going to team up somehow. And then Dr. Strange is going to be like Wanda. Get it together. These people are destroying things. They're killing people. They're taking people's powers, and then they're gonna have to team up. But I think Wanda's gonna start out as the bad, but then. Well, she's con right now. She's torturing Agatha. Yeah, Agatha. Then she drained. She drained Agatha's power, or whatever, and then brainwashed Agatha. And now she's the nosy neighbor. The nosy neighbor, as it were. Um, yeah, it's interesting to see if if Agatha will come back again as a villain, probably. I mean, didn't she say something like this isn't over kind of thing like this? She's like, you have no idea what you just did. Yeah. Like. You have no idea what you started. Well, she activated like basically the dark phoenix of Wanda. Yeah. Is what yeah, happened. Pretty it's much. really, really what's going on is she now, she's now like, oh, there is all this power. Let me go ahead and read this dark book. Like, Come on. What are, you, what are you doing? People? I read that somewhere. It's that the book that she, the, I forgot what it's called, but it corrupts the people who read it. Mm -hmm. Um. The. I'm trying to think of the name, the something hold stronghold. 
Is it what it's called? Dark, Dark Hold. Dark Hold. Dark Hold. Yeah. Hold. No, Dark Hold. Um, yeah, I don't. I think that they maybe address that directly in the show. Like, I think Agatha says something about it corrupting people, if I remember right. Um, well, she had it, and she read that. Either. She read that thing. Yeah. She evil. Yeah, she evil. Uh, <laughs> she literally had a basement yeah. like with a, with a bunch of symbols for doing binding spells and stuff. Like, what are you doing? Um, first time we really got a, a taste of witchcraft in the MCU. Yeah, I mean, we even in Doctor Strange, like it was different is magic. That witchcraft. It's different. It's different magic. It's sorcery. Yeah. Sorcery. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. Yeah, but witchcraft and like witches being burned at the stake, which we see Agatha get literally almost, basically, yeah. basically burned at the stake. Um, that scene where I think the I think it's the second to last episode that starts off with her in the woods, Agatha in the woods being burned at the stake with her coven mm -hmm. with her with her coven, and when she like sucks up all of their souls and they turn into old old <laughs> zombie people, not zombies, but they die. They mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. like they like wither away, like I thought that was pretty graphic. That's kind of dark. It was pretty that graphic was pretty and dark. dark. It was for MCU for sure. stuff. Fuck. And then Wanda taking Agatha back to that. She's like, okay, you took me through my traumas, so we're gonna go back to yours. And right. then all of them are like, you're the Scarlet Witch. And then she's like, shit, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> They're supposed to be getting you, not me. Yeah. But I, that was. Just something that I didn't expect to happen. I can't take Agatha seriously enough, though. Like, wasn't she in Step Brothers? Wasn't she? <laughs> yeah, she was in Step Brothers. She's got yeah. a smile. <laughs> Come on, you're not even you're not even giving it any. You're like, way off key. You're way off key. What are you doing? <laughs> Paying for voice lessons for nothing. <laughs> She's like, come on. <laughs> it's so good. She's so good in Step Brothers. She's also an anchor man. Yeah. She's, mm -hmm. yeah. She's, that's weird from her going to comedy to this. I mean, there was some kind of a comedic role there, like the way, I mean, especially in the first few episodes. But obviously at the end, you're like, okay, I hate this motherfucker. Like, she, needs <laughs> to, she needs to die. Yeah. She kidnapped the kids. Yeah. She yeah. literally kidnapped the kids and like choked them and stuff. I mean, technically the kids she, didn't exist in the first place, but. She held them with invisible little rope chain Yeah, little things. rope chain things. Like, first of all, just start walking backward. You'll be fine. And then couldn't Wiccan like <laughs> do something? Back to Evan Peters, though, at the same time. How, okay. why was he able to run fast? So, is that part of Agatha? Or like, is he already technically a mutant? I I don't think he's a mutant. Uh, I think that was part of Agatha's magic to convince uh, mm, Wanda okay. that he was her brother. So you just made him run super fast. Yeah. Um, I don't know what the kids' powers are supposed to be. Wiccan is like Wanda, and then Speed can run fast. Yeah. Oh, oh so really? They're <laughs> so it's like Pietro. Yeah. Okay. It's Wanda and her brother. Okay. Because they're twins. All right. So. Real uh, creative on that one, but yeah. What did yeah. you guys think of? Uh, I, and I don't remember her name in the MCU, but Kat Denning's character, Darcy. I Darcy, loved her. thank you. Oh my gosh, she was great. I loved her. Yeah, I loved, I loved the trio of Jimmy, Darcy, and Monica. I liked Monica a lot. I think I could go. I have could have gone without either Darcy or Jimmy. Like Jimmy you could have Wu? gone without him. Jimmy Woo's hilarious, the man. The card trick at yeah. the beginning, tying back into Ant-Man, that was amazing. Well, and then yeah. Wait, I didn't get that reference. Paul Rudd was teaching him magic, or he did a magic trick. Yeah, Ant-Man. Oh, Ant he's the one that keeps yeah. Ant-Man in his house. Yeah. yeah. And, house arrest. and then okay. when he introduces okay. himself, he's like, Jimmy Woo, flips up the card, FBI. And I was like, <laughs> he figured he it out. Thing. Yeah, he figured it out. Because he asked him, he... Jimmy I do remember him, that. I like, do remember that. How'd you do it? <laughs> yeah. How'd you do it? <laughs> Try to take, okay. some, take some time off your... I see what you're saying. <laughs> off your um, Yeah, I don't know, like... But Kat Dennings, to me, Darcy, sorry, um, is not... Like, her character hasn't developed at all since... Thor. Since Thor 1. Yeah. yeah. And she's Thor just like, one. she comes in, she does computer shit. She just knows how to do everything. Yeah, she just She knows exactly well, she's a what. She's now, because she was uh, Jane. She was a student. Assistant, right, right. Her intern or whatever. And yeah. And she became Dr. Darcy Lewis. So she knows That's everything true. about um, like, ra like uh, radioactive material and all that. She's like, oh, it's, it's microwaves that are coming through. From the Big Bang. From, from, the, from the Big Yeah. <laughs> like, where are you coming up with all the science? And why is nobody at. Uh, I wanted to say shield sword figured this crap out yet 
And she just sets up an old CRT TV she just knows that she'll be able to see something on it. Like, So I thought about that, and there are, like, based on the megahertz of the frequency coming from the octagon, mm -hmm. hexagon? The hex. The hex, thank you. Uh, like, she could have identified those as video signals based on the megahertz because there's a certain mm -hmm. frequency in which TV stations are broadcast. So if she saw that and knew that frequency, then she yeah. would have been able to tell that it was a TV signal so or could have been a TV. Does that mean that everyone else in the world could also potentially see what was going on there? Well, I would imagine depending on the power, like just like a TV signal a would be. Or TV. Right. Or TV. Like you if you were close enough, you could have tuned into the show for mm. sure. Wow. Well, um, yeah, who do you know that still has a CRT TV and still uses it? Well, I don't know why she needed a CRT TV. Like, it would, I don't know. I don't know. That, that, that the CRT part maybe doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Yeah. But she's like, I need a really old TV. No, oh, okay. And they're just on it. They're like, yeah, sure. Why? Yeah. Here's the CRT. What else do you want? Coffee, but they didn't give it to her. Yeah. <laughs> she asked for coffee. No one brought it. Uh, Except for Jimmy Wu. Right. He got her coffee. What a legend. So, um, I think the. The part with her and Vision when they're in the van at the end. Yeah. That was the first part where I was like, like, kind of liked her character. Yeah. And I, like I said, haven't really liked her in the Thor movies either. And it's not her fault. It's just a poorly written and poorly developed character. I like Kat Dennings just fine. And she plays the character the way she's told to play the character. Um but at the end when they're kind of like her and Vision are having a heart to heart and she's talking about like, filling him in on the shit that happened since he died, um, I thought was a pretty, a, a cool scene. Didn't she explain to him, like, Wanda, dis like, killed you, and then Thanos rewound time, brought you back, and then you died again? Yeah, yeah. Does the world know everything that happened in well, the battle? Like, I keep wondering that, like, over, in, like, in the show, when, uh, and even in... We're, you know, we're watching Falcon and Winter Soldier right now. Like, I always wonder how many people know about the shit that happened. Like, is it common knowledge and, yeah, or because what? Because Darcy knows that, but people don't know, like, for Falcon and Winter Soldier, people don't know where Cap is completely. Right. And they don't know what happened. Yeah. Like, they, I don't yeah. think they know that yeah. he turned into old man Steve. They just think he's missing. They're right. Like, oh, Cap mm -hmm. is gone. But, that, like, how much does the public know about what the Avengers did? Yeah, I wondered that constantly, especially at the, uh, through Monica Rambo's character, you see her come back from the snap and she's in the hospital. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like. That was a really good parallel from when the Hulk did it and brought mm -hmm. everyone back. It was, so it was joyful. It was chaotic in WandaVision mm -hmm. in the hospital, but. Yeah, like the that birds too. started chirping and Clint's wife called him and like. Right. The chaos. And you see this smooth transition into more people. And they build on that in Winter Soldier as well, in Falcon and Winter Soldier, like mm -hmm. the people that were snapped and stuff like that. And I think that's really good of them to bring up. Mm -hmm. It is. Um, showing that. It's not something you can just avoid. Like it has to be. Yeah, I mean, like, even Kevin Feige at first was like, yeah, everyone would just snap back to normal. If people were on a plane, I assume that they would just be transported safely and there'd be no chaos. But, I think. But. They said From that. homecoming, yeah. like everyone appeared in the same, like the yeah. marching band. Like that's not safe. <laughs> like you almost, you almost teleported family. inside of. Like, what if a human just like appeared, like where another human's at? Right. In right. the tuba, they could have been in that tuba, oh just stuffed in there. No, oh, these are the like these are the <laughs> brothers that got combined. <laughs> they're now Siamese twins. Now they Siamese. were regular twins. Now they're Siamese twins. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. So like that hospital scene and like. When you see, she talks to the doctor and she's like, your, your mom's been dead for three years or whatever, yeah. I think she says. Yeah. Um, she died like two years yeah, after. Yeah, she died like two years after. Uh, that is really well acted and I thought was a pretty powerful scene. Like, I think Monica Rambo is probably my favorite new character in the entire WandaVision run there. Like, I really yeah, like her. I agree. I really like that I like actress. the new Vision. What do you mean? <laughs> I, I'm not sure whether to it's call him character. White Vision or Dark Vision. It's White Vision. Okay, is that... I, is, it's from the comics. Okay. Yeah. He That's a character that I'm, like, really confused about, because is he going... Where's, where did he go? He left in the middle of his battle with Wanda's vision that she created. Right. And he's... 
like Vision was like, here are your memories. The last memory he has is Wakanda. No, White Vision. He, so is he going to Wakanda? He probably doesn't know how to process everything because he was vision, like that Vision. Like now he has the memories of the old Vision that died. Or no. How, so was, <laughs> what, so no, maybe he doesn't remember at all. Maybe he only has the memory that v the normal Vision had inside of the Hex, which he didn't know who he was. No, because he got oh. filled in by Darcy. Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah, but he wouldn't remember still, those yeah. things, right? But he yeah. remembers everything with... Did he remember? I thought I couldn't so. remember. I, I don't remember if he remembered it. I need to, yeah, <laughs> I need to, to rewatch that part. So, I, I um, feel like he's going back to Wakanda, because I think the last vision, the last vision, the last memory that Vision had was Shuri trying to get the stone out. So I think White Vision is going to go. Right, because like, hey, they're in I the tower or whatever. Yeah. 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 I feel like... Sure, he's gonna play a bigger role in trying to give him his memories, and then hmm. Vision's gonna go back to being Vision because at the end of WandaVision, Vision's like, Well, I've come back before, so we can only hope that I'm gonna see you again. And then he yeah. disappears and dies. Yeah, he's again. like, Literally, the odds are we'll see each other again because it's more often than not. <laughs> so, so I think. I don't know if it's gonna be him or White Vision. Mm. But it seemed like Wanda was able to plant. Um, like that part of vision into obviously she created him from the mind stone. I mean, he didn't necessarily have all of his memories, but like it was it was the vision that she knew and loved still. Right. Um, so I I don't see a reason or a reason <laughs> I don't see a reason <laughs> I why I don't like it. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, like it. I don't like it. I don't see a reason why um, <laughs> she can't do that with a new vision. He now has a power source to to stay alive. You know, they literally gave him the power source. So. Right. Yeah, there's got to be some way that they're going to restore his memory because I I do want to see Vision more often. I hope I, they put um, him back in color. I don't want. Oh him yeah, that yeah, white yeah. Eyesore. No, they'll he'll he'll probably fix <laughs> white that. Eyesore. Um, just, just blue stone or whatever. I did like when he was transferring the memories though. He like went to orange, orange like Jarvis yeah. was, and I was yeah. like, oh, Jarvis is coming back. Not really, but right. in yeah. a way, I was excited about that part. I had a problem with with White Vision. Me too. I thought that. I thought that that was rushed. Uh, his reveal was rushed. Um, it also, like, canonically doesn't really make sense. So Tony Stark, smartest man alive, creates Jarvis. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. Super smart man makes super smart AI. I'm on board with this plan. Mm -hmm. And then Tony Stark also creates Ultron and with the help of Jarvis, they together... Now the two smartest people alive make Ultron. Hmm. With Bruce Banner. Also With Bruce Banner, correct. Smart person. So the three of them make a being that is smarter than all three of them. That being turns around and uses his infinite brain power to craft vision, mm -hmm. like create an android from some living tissue part Jarvis, part living tissue. So he takes one of the three smartest things on the planet as an AI and makes it into a conscious sentient being in vision. So now we're climbing a ladder here, right? We've got rung and rung and rung and rung of smartest, 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 smartest creates smarter, 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 smarter. And then S.W.O.R.D. says, okay, I'm going to take bumfuck Billy here and recreate the android that the smartest, 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 smartest person being in the MCU has created. I'm just going to recreate that. No big deal. Well, I got a fucking die grinder and I'm just grinding apart pieces of an android. Like, I don't think, like, that doesn't fly with me. Yeah. There's no way that those people would be smart enough to have crafted that thing. Even reverse engineering Vision from the dead body of Vision. So literally made of like, vibranium. Yeah, and all they, that they vibranium. Know, they do not know how to work on vibranium. No, no. no they have, yeah. they, they have they like no experience grinder. with it. Like literally, uh, not even Tony Stark had really any experience with right. vibranium. It was all, his dad did. Yep. He was like the only person for a long time. Right, because he made then, the shield. And then Wakanda's like, we, we had it forever, but we don't literally have, we don't even have anybody else that messes with this stuff. Right. So, so none of that makes sense to me. Um, it, it just, it doesn't add up for sure. But I mean, I guess it had been what, five years since Vision died. Sure. So they had yeah. five years to work on this body. Yeah, I, I don't, it, I don't buy it. I'm not buying it. 
wouldn't it also be because it's obviously it's after the movie Black Panther came out and at the end of Black Panther, T'Challa's like, hey, this is Wakanda. We have these resources. So did Vibranium get sent out at all and people did learn That's to work on it? Yeah. Because he, he did, they did open they Wakanda. They did do that. Mm -hmm. I, but they're, they talk about Vibranium being extremely rare. Like even in Wakanda, it's not like yeah, it's flowing not found from everywhere. mountains. Yeah. Right? Like it's still a rare earth element that they've mm. got a like from an asteroid or something yeah mm. basically <laughs> um yeah i don't know it's probably elsewhere in the universe though sure hence wolverine sure. wolverine yeah. well his is adamantium adamantium which it's I, not vibranium i think adamantium might be stronger than vibranium i don't know though Could i do that. not know i've always wondered that exact same question yeah. actually that like, like, like if it was see? cap's shield versus, versus wolverine's, wolverine's claws. claws yeah that's happened in the comics. Oh, I'm ninety percent yeah. sure. But yeah. well, the X Men were in Civil War. Well, I so think saw vibranium. Versus... Vibranium is something that they actually created specifically for the MCU because they didn't have the rights to the adamantium. The Cap Shield is actually made out of adamantium originally. Well, now we've got two super elements. Yeah, what the? I want to double check that in that information here. Yeah, quick, double check that. I, real quick. I know that his the original Shield was made out of something else. Like Cap Shield in the comics wasn't made of vibranium. It was made of something else. So I don't know what it was called, but I do know that it was definitely not vibranium. Yep. No. Physical composition is composed of proto-adamantium. So you were right, Colin. Mm -hmm. Wait, now it says what, steel vib vibranium. <laughs> steel vibranium? Are there different types? I feel like that's what we're learning. There's just more types of vibranium. I don't know. Yeah, they're basically the same thing. <laughs> let's, just, let's just throw that out there that adamantium is literally just, you know, I mean, is vibranium and vice versa at this point. Unless they, unless MCU comes out and says otherwise, um, they're either going to say Wolverine's made out of vibranium or they're going to make it say, Ooh, say, that, would make, that would make me angry. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say that would super bum me yeah, out. Also if they said. <laughs> I don't know. Vibranium doesn't seem that tough after all I've seen. Like, Cap shield literally got freaking smashed. That was a titan. It was Still. literally Thanos. Did you expect him to just bounce his little sword off of it? What's his sword made out of? I mean, still though, I mean. Did he get his sword made by the Does that mean Wolverine can be giant? Like ripped apart like that? Well, I guess by Magneto he could. He would regenerate. If, if Magneto ripped him apart, okay, he would not, regenerate? Not if he got chopped he in half, would. he'd regenerate. Yeah, oh, if he got chopped Would there be would. two then, though? Would he regenerate from both halves? Oh, God. <laughs> no, but did, <laughs> was Thanos' sword, double sword thing, was that made by the dwarf giant where he got the gauntlet from? Because wouldn't Thor's hammer break Cap shield? Because then that would make mm -hmm. sense. Because then they would be made of the same substance. Is, That's a good is Thor's hammer made out of... Vibranium? No. No, it's made from the heart it's of a It's made from the heart of a dying yeah. star. Yeah. I don't know what metal that so is. So is that stronger than anything? Is that stronger than vibranium? Probably. We really need did a the, chart. Did the we asteroid a... come from that dying star and hit <laughs> Earth and put vibranium on it? It's all connected. Well, are they also talk about magic having different, like... <laughs> Reinforcement like, properties, di basically. Different properties, yeah, yeah. Properties that aren't usually obeyed by the laws of physics. So... Okay. All right. Um, so, when so you magic, throw magic in it, that's a real wrench. It's it is like a real Tony wrench. It's just like magic. It's something we can't explain. So it's yeah. magic. Tony Stark <laughs> said magic is just science that he can't understand yet, but he'll get there. Not anymore. But he could have maybe. No reality. It probably probably is. Uh, yeah, they bring that up in in Thor two: The Dark World as well, where. Jane has to go there because she's sick or something. The ether. The ether yeah. got her. Yes, that's what yeah. it is. The ether done got her. Oh, the original COVID. <laughs> <laughs> but it made her an evil person. She, uh, she wasn't evil. With People the dark just ether? Touch her. Oh. I mean, yeah. Thrown across the room. Couldn't. She had the cheese touch from Dire Wimpy Kid. <laughs> You don't get the, oh man. Yeah, see, see, that's how it feels. That's how it feels. Age gap, buddy. Yeah, a little You're bit of an age it. gap. What, did you get that joke? <laughs> yes, I did. Fuck you guys. <laughs> um, What did you guys think of the ending fight scene? I, so eh. I thought it was fine until 
Uh, I talked to my buddy Anthony. I've mentioned him on the pod a couple of times. Big Marvel fan. I talked to him all the time. Like texted back and forth extensively about WandaVision. And I thought it was fine until he was like, he basically said it was a Harry Potter fight scene. Oh yeah, L- like one wand, pew, one yep. pew, like. And I was like, 100%. oh yeah, you're right. That's what I I, I, c- I made that comparison in my head. Too. Did you? Yeah, yeah. I feel like it could have, there could have been more to it, especially when Wanda is in the air fighting Agatha and she's purposefully missing to put the runes on it so that she can't cast magic anymore. That uh, Agatha can't. Right. But also Agatha like looks at her missing and is just like okay with it, I feel like she would have caught on because she's been this She's a very cunning yeah. character. Well, she's really old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like she, also she stole part of her magic, like part of Wanda's magic. And she was like taking it from her as Wanda was shooting it out. Right, right. And she was like purposefully missing, like something's going on. You should be catching on here. And then uh, just the, the fight the fight with Vision and White Vision in the library or whatever where they're talking about the ship yeah. of whatever the heck. Yeah. I, I thought there could have been more done with that because I was just confused for the whole time. Yeah, I would have been fine without them introducing White Vision at all. Yeah. Into this finishing into out. this series for sure. Vision did die a horrific death for sure. That was even that little jump scare that they threw in in WandaVision when he, he just oh, pops up and he's like, as, what? And he has the little, little, yeah, little crater in his head. Oh my gosh, that scared me. I was like, Did dude. It? Yeah, I mean, it kind of, like, I was like, like, I just didn't even know what to say. I was like, we just saw dead vision talking. Right. They did it so I honestly Jason. thought, I said, I swear, if if Wanda is dragging a dead corpse around, we've got some issues. <laughs> That's a little dark. Yeah, she didn't do that. She just created him, which is pretty cool, but better than dragging better. a dead corpse around. I do hate that, though. He's like, yeah, he she came in and stole the vision's body. No, you, you, you technically that. stole the vision's body. It. Yeah. She's like, I just wanted to bury him, man. And she literally was cool. Like, she, like, left them alone, too. She didn't try going back. Right. Until they attacked her. And they attacked her, yeah. Which makes sense. hmm So, uh, let's talk about Monica real yeah. quick. Um, so she obviously goes into the, the hex mm-hmm. yep. and becomes a person that is in a sitcom. Um, and she's there when Wanda has her babies but she clearly knows that something is amiss when she is in the hex. Like, she has enough mental capacity about her to not be totally overtaken by the hex. Um, is that just a testament to, like, her mental fortitude as a soldier? Or, like... I guess, I, I guess I'm asking, like, when did she get her powers? Are her powers a part of that or what do you guys think the first time she was taken out of the hex like when Wanda pushed her out of the hex they did like DNA samples and stuff or they like cat scanned her head and it wasn't coming back so it and it started to mutate her genes okay Mm. but I think that she like had a grip of reality when Wanda was like I had a brother and then when she's like, he was killed by Ultron, wasn't he? I think when she right. had a reference to the real world, that's when she was like, oh, hey, Wanda, stop doing this. You're kind of messing with people. I think that's when she came to. Oh, okay. but then, I see. But then we saw it, her coming in and out of the hex is what gave her her powers. Right. Mm-hmm. So, so uh, and, and Monica Rambo, correct me if I'm wrong, that is the little girl from, from Captain, Captain Marvel. From Captain Marvel. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I didn't catch that until like... I don't know, maybe episode seven. Like, for whatever reason, I just didn't yeah. put that together. Even when they're talking about her mom. I was going to say, you didn't get it. In the hospital, I'm like, I don't know who the fuck that is, whatever. Yeah. And and uh, when she goes to the S.W.O.R.D. headquarters, he also mentions, that guy also mentions her mom and being a soldier and whatever. Yep. And I just didn't really put two and two together. Yeah. I would have maybe They mentioned like, Captain Marvel, but she did not like it when they did. Yeah. Did they yeah, actually it. mention her by they name? They actually yeah. mentioned her. Okay. And she she didn't like react to it in a good way. She had like a look that was like, 
And she was like, we're she's, not talking about that she's, right now. Yeah, she on. clearly doesn't like Captain Marvel for some odd reason. Monica doesn't? Monica yeah, does like not. Like, she has a problem. Mm-hmm. Oh. So I don't know if it's because Captain Marvel was gone that whole time. Right. It's kind of something that everybody's... Her not it's something that there. everybody's kind of been like, you're like one of the most powerful beings ever, and you weren't there when we kind of needed you to be. We get that there's other planets... That need your help, but, but at the, the same biggest time, fight half of right life, here. half of life everywhere got wiped out, including the planet you're trying to protect. <laughs> and the fight was brought to Earth. Why are you not fighting on Earth? Yeah, like, yeah. Take care of the problem at the source, and then the rest of it is solved. She's just helping out the homeless while the world's <laughs> about to end. Um, uh, fighting some old lady on a train. And so, <laughs> so what is Monica's power? She is, what is her hero? Photon. She, photon. Mm-hmm. I'm, she has I photon really powers. Like <laughs> um, I'll look at the official, uh, So what's her power, Madeline? MCU. She basically sees everything at the atomic level, so... Okay. So she can phase, like that, when Hayward was shooting at her, the bullets were just going through her because she was just phasing. Right. I don't know if she phases, like, into a different plane or something, but... And that was the same thing with her eyes. She was seeing all the rays and photons and everything coming off of everything that was around her, like the power lines and the houses. She was seeing the radio waves and everything of it. I don't know if that was because she was in the hex, though, and Wanda was creating those. Right. But she, in the comics, she's Captain Marvel first. Like, she's the first Captain Marvel. So I think she has, like, half of the power or powers that Captain Marvel has. Okay. In the comics, supposed to be Captain Marvel. Human mutate exposed to an energy disruptor device, giving her the ability to transform herself into electromagnetic energy reality. Don't even know what that means. That's badass. Uh, well, explain what, the, what it is. Explain what it means, Ryan. Uh, science. It's just science stuff, Colin. It's science stuff. Yeah. She's. When did she first appear? Um, so Photon is her character. Photon, she correct. Had a, I think in the comics she had a couple of different names. Like she was Captain Marvel, Photon, she was something else, and this other thing. Amazing Spider-Man in 1982 is when she first appeared. Wow. Um, as Captain Marvel in Avengers Unplugged number 5, and then June 1996 she appeared as Photon. And then 2005 she was Pulsar. Yeah. That, that was and then she was in the Mighty Avengers, and then September 2013 as Spectrum. Boy, so she's been a lot of characters. Yeah. So we could be getting any one of those, evidently. And a lot of people are going with the Photon, so maybe Marvel will be like, yeah, no, we're not doing that one. Let's change the name. Right. Maybe they'll give her a whole new one. Because Marvel likes to mess with us a little bit. That's, especially with WandaVision. That is absolutely true. Um, oh, Spider-Man tried taking her out in the comics, and then Tony Stark... Um, was like, hey, no, she's cool. Oh, that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, that would make sense now. She, she probably just woke up and, yeah, realized that Iron Man's dead. I'm like, oh, he died. Better. I, I would have liked a scene in WandaVision, though, as, like, a little bit more of a callback to Captain Marvel. Like, maybe even her as a little girl with her mom next to a plane. Like, I probably would have... Gotten it. <laughs> I don't know because I didn't get it. Did uh, you, it's been a while since I've seen Captain Marvel. So. Did you get it when she was running through the hex? When Captain Marvel and her mother were speaking to her, and Captain Marvel says, Lieutenant Trouble. Did you connect the dots then? Or. Yeah, they did have a little callback. I mean, now that you say that, <laughs> no. It happened. Uh, the thing no, you just I said, I wish they put in there. They did. I don't yeah. think so. When wh- When is that? When she goes w- in the suit? No. It's two times. It's when she's entering the hex and then becomes photon or whatever one she is. Okay. It, it is also when she's being snapped back. She hears her mother and she mm. hears Captain Marvel. Yep. Oh, I didn't. So that's like the. I don't like think I caught it. Third episode. You watch the subtitles. That's Fourth episode. I oh, I, I actually don't. I a lot of shows we actually do watch with subtitles, but I don't think this was one of them. No, I didn't watch it with subtitles. I I did. I feel like I have to. I don't know. I'm like I can't miss any detail at all. Yeah, I get I get that. <laughs> In letter Kenny, it's about impossible. It, You've yeah, got no. fucking. It gotta. spoils. It spoils it's it for true. me because yeah. I read ahead and yeah. I'm like dang. Damn. Because sometimes it'll show the next line before they even say it. I'm like, mm-hmm. dude. <laughs> and that, it can ruin jokes. Like for imagine sure. imagine if it happened with Iron Man in Endgame. Like an eye, yeah. and you just like before he's sitting there and it says an eye, and Iron Man snaps, and you're like, Wait, what? Wait, it didn't happen yet. 
The whole movie is ruined. The whole franchise. Down the, the whole way. franchise. Yeah. I'm never watching it again. <laughs> Iron Man takes last breath. <laughs> you can rest now. You can, you can rest now. That was so sad. Uh, yeah, that was, was that was a tough one in theaters, man. It was a parallel. Her kissing him on the cheek was a parallel to him being in the barf thing when his mom kisses him on the cheek for the mm -hmm. last time. Aw, I didn't Pepper even does. pick up on that. Yeah, really I, I will cry. So Ryan's, about, Ryan, yeah. Ryan's getting worked up over here, man. Yeah, you guys, yeah. Uh, that and Logan, fuck, man. I um, never watched Logan. I dude, could, Logan I is probably not, my I favorite could, movie. Are you fucking kidding me? I, I watched it one time. The end we're, got spoiled okay, for me. And we're I'm not watching. End in the pod. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go watch Logan right now. I need to watch it again for BRB. sure. I, I think I'm gonna watch um, it tomorrow. Um, invite me over. Movie okay. night, Ryan. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, I. I think we're getting near the end of the episode here. What do you guys got a, a lot more to say here? What do you think? Mm, I think we kind of touched on basically everything. Um, okay. Biggest things. Uh, what does this lead to next? Multiverse of madness, probably. Right. Um, right. Obviously, multiverse means new characters. Um, probably X Men. Maybe. We'll see. I don't know. I'm looking forward to it. Though. Are we gonna get another fake multiverse? Like yeah. in Spider Man, I was very upset. Oh, the reveal so I love how J. Jonah Jameson came back, though. Yes, uh, J.K. Simmons J. K. does Simmons, a great yeah. J. Jonah Jameson. Absolutely. The only one that also means that Andrew Garfield, he wasn't Tobin in the show. Are coming back. Yeah, maybe they are. Not maybe they are. Not maybe it's, Not maybe. it's damn near They're confirmed. Damn near. <laughs> but they didn't. Kevin Feige come out and say, or Tom Holland he didn't come confirm out and say, or Tom Holland did, but they basically said we can either confirm nor deny these things. He just said no because he didn't know what else to say. <laughs> it's basically what he came out. He came like, out we later and said to that. Say anything yet? Yeah. So no. But you know how many times we've also been told no before by Kevin the MCU. And like it, it's happened many times yeah. where they'll they'll deny something that is you know is gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> it's we, happened. We were supposed to get a great cameo, but it was just Paul. Yeah, Bettany Paul Bettany was like Paul Bettany. Paul Bettany was like, yeah, I'm gonna be working with this actor who I've never worked with before. Always I'm wanted. I've always wanted to work with, to work with him. Uh, we have this. We have this powwow. And it's gonna be awesome. That should have been Arnold Schwarzenegger. And it was literally himself. He's been the hey, come on, I'm the new Vision. I'm the original. <laughs> um, yeah, he's already a robot. Might as well, for sure. No, yeah, he was Terminator. already an android. He's damn near vi made of vibranium already. Get him in here. <laughs> Add another metal into the mix. <laughs> Add another metal. I'm a Terminator metal. Yep. <laughs> maybe we can get. I know what it's in, called? Maybe in Multiverse of Madness, you get to see a Terminator since Disney owns Fox now. It's yeah, a just look at like a, the cameras panning. And he's got his eye out, like he's got a gun, and just yep. like, hey, can take come with me if you want to live. I'm okay with that. So, yeah, uh, I guess we'll we'll just ride out here. Um, thank you, everybody, so much for tuning in to Crazy Train of Thought. Those of you that are on stream, uh, stay stay attuned, and we will be right back with some gaming news. But uh, thanks, Madeline, for being on this episode. Thank you, Colin, mm -hmm. and um, audio listeners and YouTube viewers. Catch us next week for our next episode. I don't know what it will be. Um, those of you that are watching on the stream, I will be on a Marvel podcast on Thursday. We will be live streaming. Not from here. I'm going to go. I'm going to go to somebody else's podcast studio oh. and be a guest. Ooh. This will be. Uh, I, I've never been on a podcast that's not one that never. I hosted. Yeah, it's interesting. Never so. been on one ever before. Not one. <laughs> yeah, not, not one once. time. Uh, <laughs> so this will be interesting. My first guest appearance. So that's the I Can Marvel All Day podcast. We actually ran their excellent promo a little while back. And uh, maybe maybe I'll stick that promo somewhere in this episode if I, gotcha. if I end up with some extra time. So yeah, stick around on stream and uh, catch us next week. That's all, folks. What the fuck? Who do you think I am, Ryan? Fucking amateur. When has my phone ever not been on, on, on silent during the stream? Or during the podcast? Um, I don't think I've ever heard your phone, but definitely I have heard some people's phone. The first oh, yeah. time I was on the podcast, I had an alarm go off that I had never set before, so... That was... something. Yeah. That part. You hear the background?
I never noticed that. I've never noticed that before. That's interesting. What did you call that? A marimba? Yeah, it kind of sounds like a marimba. I have no idea. It's a synth, but kind of sounds like a marimba. <laughs> 